Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Geminis. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Gems. Have you been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Gems, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages Source your guardian angels and your ancestors have here for you today. And shout out to the Evolving Spirits and the beautiful Patreon Soul family. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And shout out to the OnlyFans page. It's always a pleasure to assist you all. And thank you so much for being here. And welcome, Gems, to the ones that are new here. Definitely don't forget to like, subscribe. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. We look forward to meeting you. Adjust your notification bells for when I go live for all Zodiac sign readings and love live stream questions as well, all right? So no further ado, let's dive into your messages today. We're first going to start with an oracle message here from your guardian angels and your ancestors here. Then we're going to dive into some tarot here, gems. And of course, we'll close out with my raw tarot index cards, all right? So no further ado, let's dive in, gems. Wow, adversity, all right, so we have I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, Gemini, okay? So there could be a situation or a circumstance here that you may have to face or you may have been in here maybe in the past and you're now overcoming and reflecting on this situation that overcame here in the past. And now you're seeing that these obstacles or challenges was actually the best way for you to learn. You now see and things now making sense to you or why things may be happening the way that they happen. And now you're on the other side of it. And now you're seeing it for yourself through someone else's maybe experience here as well. All right. But the adversity here indicates that accepting these challenges and realizing why that these challenges may be played out the way that they did or what mindset were you in at the time or what made you to make these type of decisions. These are the questions... <clears throat> That I feel or see that you all may be having with yourself as you're reflecting back on these experiences here. But your guardian angels and your ancestors want you to know that these were the best way for Gemini to be able to learn. For Gemini to be understand what Gemini lesson or journey is, you had to particularly go through that situation, Gemini, or that circumstance in that matter in order to get down to the reasons of why or what was the best out of that to put you in the position that you're able to be in now. You know how sometimes we look back and we be like, man, I'm so glad I dodged a bullet. Or, man, I'm so glad I learned that lesson because if had I not did that, I wouldn't be where I am at today, right? That's that type of energy or situation here that you may find yourself coming across here sometime this week, Gems, okay? Wow, thank you, Guardian Angels and Ancestors, for the messages there. Let's now dive into your tarot here and see how this all relates together. Okay, we got here the, this is a beautiful card here. This is the King of Wands here, okay? This is Leo energy here, Gems, okay? Some of y'all, this person here may be a Leo, all right? But this is an energy of all about taking action, okay? This is someone that wants to actually move forward with, Either an ideal here that they have about you in this connection or this relationship, or this is a goal in mind that this person also has here towards you. Okay, again, this could be a fire sign here, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here, Gems. But someone here definitely um, wants to move forward to and take action towards this relationship here or this connection that you two may have had. Okay, so let's see where this is going here in the present future. We have the Six of Swords. Now, this is your element or your energy here, right? We got the air elements here. This could also be an air sign here for some of you all gems. This could be Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini like yourself. But the Six of Swords indicates moving forward, okay? Moving towards a better environment, a better atmosphere for yourself, and a space where you're able to be appreciated and acknowledged for the things I feel like here, gems that you have been doing or applying yourself towards. So I feel like this 
space that you're moving into, right? If you're physically moving somewhere new, some of y'all could physically be moving to another city or another state here and you're excited about it, but you're also maybe nervous at the same time here, all right? Some of y'all could be physically moving within your thoughts, okay? And letting go of certain thoughts that you no longer find yourself resonating here with, okay? And you're moving away from these type of thoughts or maybe having negative thoughts about a situation or negative thoughts about what you can do and what you can't do. I see a lot of old ways of doing things or patterns here you're putting to the end, Gems, and also this person and taking action is actually getting the job done is what I'm seeing here. So some of you all may have exchanged energies here again with someone from the past and they may have lacked in some areas and caused a relationship here to be off balance between you two, Gemini, and now it looked like this person's wanting to come in and pick up where they're left off at. But of course, making it more reasonable and putting more solid opportunities there where this can continue to grow, unlike be stagnant is what I'm type of, you know, type of energy here that I'm picking up here for you, Gems. Wow. A lot of intuitive messages there, but we're pushing through here. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. We got the eight of cups. Now, this is Scorpio energy here, okay? Some of you all here, gems, this person could be a Scorpio, but this card here indicates walking away from people or a place or a circumstance or situation that you're no longer emotionally here invested here in with the water elements here, okay? Again, this could be a Scorpio that some of you all are deciding to walk away from or a water sign as a Cancer of Pisces here. But I do see this person or this energy deciding to walk away from a situation that they no longer resonate here with here, okay? And they're taking action and getting their power back here as well. I feel like rather this is your energy or the person energy that you are around at this time, there is definitely a new beginning here coming because of whatever typical pattern or behavior here has finally been put to an end here. So that's good news. And I feel like that's going to allow peace moving forward for this connection here. Wow, Gems. Definitely at the reading here so far has fulfilled your spirit and is resonating for you so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, a part of our soul family. And definitely be sure to adjust your notification bell, Gems, so you can be ready for the next week in tarot as well, okay? So again, we're going to close out with my raw tarot index cards. Again, shout out to the beautiful soul family there for the OnlyFans page. If you're new again, come on over. I do energy check-ins with only using my raw tarot index cards. So that way you can kind of get a feel of what the reading is going to be about and what the energies are going to play out in the reading before I actually drop it here on YouTube, okay? So definitely if that's something that you're interested in, it's only $5.55 if you would love to sign up. That link is on the About tab or the Homepage tab as well, okay? So let's see here. Let's see what the index cards here have for you. Let's see what this person wants to say regarding their feelings here for you here. Wow, look at that. I love you, Okay. And look, I will wait outside all day, okay? Wow, so someone here definitely may be keeping tabs on you more than usual, okay? Someone just about got your routine down here as well, okay? Especially if they're going to be waiting outside all day for you. Yeah, this person got you down. They're doing a fucking stakeout. Or what is those? Um, <laughs> look at that. <clears throat> You know those stakeouts that like the, the private detectors or the police have to do where they sit outside your door? I forgot what you call those, but that's what I was picking up here. Yes, I stalk you. And I just mentioned that someone is keeping tabs on you here. And then we have let's take it slow. Okay, so this is someone that definitely wants to take things slow. They don't want to rush into this opportunity or this relationship here with you, Gems. They definitely want to take things slow here with you. I feel like so they can get to know more about you or even the ones that this is someone from your past because they are wanting to not miss anything else about you. They want to get everything that they want to know and should have been knowing about you, I feel like, for quite some time here. Okay, yeah, look at this. Last cards we have here is I can't sleep. I'm not holding back anymore. Yeah, someone is not giving up and they're definitely not giving up without a fight here. Okay, but wow, this is what we have here for you, Gems. I definitely hope this message here fulfilled your spirit and gave you insight for yourselves. Definitely, if so, don't forget to like, subscribe again. And if, again, you would love to book a personal reading, Gems, my email details is down below in the description box. 
Definitely, if you are enjoying the content here, extend your stay and become a part of our Patreon Soul Family. The link is also found on the About Me page and the home page as well. All right. Thank each and every one of you all, Gems. I love you so, Tribe, and we definitely shall chit-chat soon. Bye-bye.